Hello and welcome to the Learning Lodash video tutorial series by Pact Publishing. My name is Eric Adams and I currently work as a senior full stack engineer. I've worked in web development for over 10 years in industries such as insurance, publishing, telecommunications, and more. I've been involved primarily with front end technologies for the last six years and I love the enthusiasm in the JavaScript community. Lodash has always made quality, performance, and simplicity keys to its development. Because of those traits, I've made it my go-to utility to speed up application development. In this first video, we are going to take a look at what will be covered throughout the Learning Lodash video tutorial series. During the series, we will use Lodash and the materials covered to build out an API and client-side application for creating and cataloging recipes. In the end, we will have built the basics of a reusable component-based framework using Lodash. In the first section, we are going to introduce Lodash and our recipe application. We will check out both the client and API code, and we will install Lodash in each repo. We will also configure our application to include Lodash using CommonJS modules and test out our client-side build process. In the second section, we will look at how we can build out a recipe listing page using the Lodash Collections API. We'll work on defining a recipe list response in the API and then build out the template to display that list on the front end. We'll also display tags used to catalog each recipe along with the most popular tags in the application. Finally, we'll build an input filter on the front end to help locate a recipe within a list. In the third section, we will build a form to create and tag new recipes in the application. We'll use Lodash array functions to search for existing tags and to determine what new tags will be added to the system. As we build out the front-end application, we will want to create reusable components. To accomplish this, in Section 4 we'll create a base controller that will handle loading templates compiled using Lodash. We'll also learn how to extend that controller with Lodash and add our own view properties to extend controllers. In Section 5 we'll take a look at formatting the display of recipes using the Lodash string functions. We'll also take a deeper look at writing templates that will be rendered using Lodash. Lodash contains a set of miscellaneous utilities, and in Section 6 we'll leverage them to finalize our recipe details. We'll list out the recipe ingredients with quantities of each one for display. We will also add login to our application. In the seventh and final section of the course, we'll look at the requirements for deploying our application. We'll review the various build options available through Lodash CLI, and we'll add minification to create an optimized build of Lodash for our client-side application. By the end of this course, you should have a firm understanding of how Lodash helps to enhance development on both the client and the server. You also will have developed an application powered by reusable components built using Lodash. I hope you're excited to join me in this course as we dive into the features and the power of Lodash.